Hello, my name is Andrew Simpson. I'm with Ether Automation. And today in this video, I am going to show you how to use a Zoho form and connect it to your CRM so that when someone submits something on, on Zoho form, it finds and creates, finds or creates a contact or a lead, uh, and then creates a task attached to that lead for you to like give them a call. So I am, um, I'm hoping I'm sharing the right screen. Otherwise, this whole thing is going to get re-recorded. But uh, I have here, I've got this demo form up, right? <clears throat> let, me, let me just double check that. Share the screen. Desktop 2. Great. So I've got this demo form up. And you can see in this demo form, <clears throat> I have my first name. I have my last name. I've got my email. Right, and then often in uh, in these Zoho forms, there'll be a contact section, or you know, you know, what is the what are you looking to inquire about? Um, I have what do you want, and then uh, I politely ask that person to get out of my swamp. Ma is spelt wrong. Get out of my swamp. If you're a fan of Shrek. Um, so let's start out with a demo form here. Right, um, you're going to need a, a form. You're also going to need Zoho CRM, and um, uh, I'm going to show you how to do this in Deluge. So let's start out. Let's go to um, integrations, right? And um, there's a few ways of doing this, right? We could do this one here. I mean, this is probably the easiest way. You can create a, a contact, right? And then um, uh, you can create an automation. Um, I don't like doing it this way because um, yeah, it doesn't involve code. Um, and uh, I have this one hammer, and so everything is a nail. So what I like to do instead is I go down to the webhooks, and there's you know there's a number of reasons we we do this. Let's click configure webhooks, um, and then it's going to ask for the webhook URL, the content type, right, and then form parameters. So let's go ahead and add the form parameters: email, um, first name, email. Let's click plus, and let's go f name, and this is going to be the first name, and then the L name, and then we're going to put the last name right here. Now, it's then going to ask for this URL. If, if I try and save, it says, hey, I need a URL. So let's go ahead and make this URL. As you can see, we're in our test uh, test bagel holes one here. So I'm going to click um, settings, go down to functions, uh, click new function. Now, if you remember from uh, one of our previous videos, we talked about how to enter information into Zoho CRM through a, uh, a webhook. Um, if you haven't seen that, um, and I remember to do it, uh, there will be an annotation up here. You can click that and, and watch the thing. So let's go Zoho form in uh, direct intake because Correct is asking, what do you want? And then to get out of my swap. So we're gonna make this as a standalone function and then click create. And then once it is created, um, I'm just gonna go info Shrek. And click save and execute and there we go. We now have Shrek popping up and uh, Shrek, if I search, I'm going to click this button here, REST API, hit that API key, copy, save, and I'm gonna use that URL right here. So now if I click save, boom, it works. So that was step one. So now whenever someone enters their, their information, I'm actually gonna add one more thing. What do you want? Want, and last one is, Get out of my swamp. Swamp. Click save. Okay, so that's step one. We now have information. When someone submits this form, that information can get sent to Zoho CRM. So now we want to move to step two. Let's search for Shrek again. Is want to deal with the code. So what are we doing here? Let's start out by commenting out some of this, this code here. So step one is we want to search for lead with the provided email 
address, right? So then, that's not spaced out properly. Then we want to create new lead if none is found, right? And the last step here would be to create task, which in Zoho is called an activity um, related to lead. So <clears throat> that's easy enough. The other thing we want to do is we want to add the argument. And the specific argument we want to add is CRM API request. Again, you can watch the other video. Um, I'm going to hit string. You got to have capital API R. So let's go ahead and save that. Great. So now let's go um, body equals paste dot get body. So that's number one. Basically, in an API request, what happens is they send a bunch of information, and some of it is in the body, some of it is in the headers. Um, some of it is the type of, of message that's sent, so a get or a post. So we, in this case, we want to get the body. So then we want to go email equals body dot get email, right? So now we have the email, and let's go uh, list of potential leads equals zoho dot theorem dot search records we want to do leads but we don't know this is the the argument for this is a little different let's go search criteria equals uh, email equals plus email plus bracket boom so what we're doing here is we're saying I want to, this is the search criteria. I want to see all, all records where an email is equal to the email in this body here that we get from the CRM API request at the top. So I'm just going to copy and paste this in here. Now this will get us return a list. So I don't know why you do this in your CRM, but if you uh, didn't make the email a unique field, you're going to get a bunch of those records coming back. But in most cases, Zoho defaults to that email being unique. So you're going to get a list of one thing in that list. So now we have a list of leads back, right? We're going to say if the list of all potential leads dot size is equal equals to zero, then we're going to lead equals Zoho dot CRM dot create record where the lead is equal to um, this body, body, right? But I'm also going to go body dot put uh, email and doing this like this. And why did I do this? Well, I could fix this issue. I, I know this from experience, but if you look back at the Zoho forms, I didn't capitalize it, right? And I did that specifically to show this issue, but remember that the email in the leads defaults, and I'm actually gonna show that to you, defaults to an uppercase email. Name, potential tenants, and let's go uh, email. See, it, e, it defaults to capital E. Um, if you don't want to do what I did, you could just make this capital E. I'm not going to do that. Anyways, so then it's, it's um, we have, and let's just say else, because we want, I like the idea of having a variable named lead um, equals get the list, and I'm going to go dot get zero. And what dot get zero means is it's going to grab the first, because computers are weird. And that zero means the first one in the list. And because we know there's only one in the list, um, given that an email field is a unique field, there should only be one lead with that email. We're going to grab that lead. So now we have a lead in either we find it or we don't. So the next thing we want to do is we want to create a task. So let's go um, 
uh, task map equals map. Um, and then I'm going to go to here. I'm going to go to uh, activities, tasks, tasks. So now we need to create a task. So we know there's going to be a task equals Zoho dot CRM dot create record. And that record is going to be in here. It's going to be called task. We're going to scroll down or oh, right there, task. So now we need to create a task map. We're going to use the one we already have and paste it in. And this is going to error out immediately. And that's because there's nothing in here. So if we look at this, we can see that we have contact name, right? Um, it's related to, so what ID? Um, but who ID, what ID, there's a description, maybe a due date, um, a status, an owner. So let's see if we can go um, and find something here. Okay, I had to pause the recording for a second there. So we, um, we wanna grab a few of these. So let's go to what ID. Um, what ID, it might be who ID. So uh, a who ID would be for leads and contacts. So if you have um, a contact, you're gonna wanna put the ID in the who ID. If you have it as a, um, uh, like a deal uh, that you wanna relate it to, that would be a what ID. I don't know why Zoho does this. This is a classic Zohoism. Um, uh, but uh, you're going to need to experiment uh, with this on your own. So then we're going to go subject. We're going to add the subject in here. And um, yeah, I think that's all this, we'll do for now. So the what ID, let's go task map dot put, and then let's grab that what ID. Um, comma, and then let's go lead dot get ID. And then, and I'm actually going to copy this and then comment it out in case this doesn't work. You can do the same thing for the who ID. And then let's just copy this whole thing again. And let's put this in the subject. This is going to be the, the subject of the task. And of course, uh, for us in our in our case, we have a very specific subject called um, "Get Out of My Swamp," right? So um, when someone submits the request over Zoho form, we're putting we're searching for them. We're then entering in their their information as a lead into the uh, the record here, and then we are uh, creating a task. And so this is why you delete your test data. I'm just going to delete this. I'm like, why wasn't it not working? Okay. So now I submit another response. I'm going to say uh, Shrek test email this is my email to Andrew at ether automation.com if you have an email what do you want um princess fiona no submit so now if you look closely i can go to here and if i refresh enough times i'm just going to refresh here it is, we've got a test, and here it is. You can see, go down to the open activity and click this, right? And then there's the open activity. So this is how you, um, so this is how you take a Zoho form, right? You add the, um, the webhooks, 
You then create or update, you can do it with, with an update, um, the lead, and then you assign a task related to that lead. 